Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. Thank you for coming out here. My name is Zenny Cortez. I'm co-president of the California Nurses Association, the largest organization of nurses in California. I, thank you. I'm honored to be here this afternoon to be on stage again with Senator Bernie Sanders. Our nurses traveled all over the country the past year with Bernie because we found a kindred spirit who always fought for the people and against a rigged economy and a rigged system. Nothing, be nothing better demonstrates how he fights for all of us in his support for Proposition 61. His outspoken campaign to end price gouging of the big drug companies. How is it rigged? The big drug companies reward their top executives with huge, huge <laughs> pay incentives to drive up drug prices and make billions of dollars in profits. They use hundreds of millions of dollars of those profits in lobbying and campaign contributions to intimidate Congress and state legislators to kill even the modest legislation to expose drug prices. And now they're spending $100 million that we all pay for with those high drug prices to deceive California voters with lies and threats to Prop 61. Nurses know how inflated drug prices hurt our patients. We see parents facing homelessness to pay to continue drug treatment for their children with leukemia. We see diabetic patients who risk blindness, loss of limbs, kidney failure or death because they can't afford the inflated cost of insulin. We see patients with heart stents coming back into the hospital for another operation if they live long enough to get there because they couldn't afford the cost of follow-up medication. We've seen enough. It's up to the people of California to stand up to the big drug companies by voting yes on 61. So for everyone, for all of us who voted for Bernie in June, we can support him again. We can support him again by voting yes on 61. I would like to end my speech with this. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Pharma Greed has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Pharma Greed has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, Pharma Greed has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Pharma greed has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Pharma greed has got to go. Hey, hey, one more time. Pharma greed has got to go. Thank you very much. Well, I'm a mother of three boys from Orange County, and my sons need EpiPens. EpiPens are a life-saving medication for families with children with food allergies and other kinds of allergies. The price has gone to over $600 in the past few years. Mothers go to the CVS counter or the drugstore with coupons and their insurance cards, hoping that they'll be able to afford the EpiPens that their children need in order to save their lives if they're exposed to an allergen. I've heard many stories of mothers leaving pharmacies crying because the final amount they were given is unaffordable to them. And they are forced to choose between basic necessities and life-saving medication for their children. EpiPens come in pairs. You need to have more than one. You need to have a few, a few sets. They need to go in your child's backpack. They need to go with them at their traveling. They need to be in their sports bag. You have to buy many and they expire. When you pick them up from the pharmacy, sometimes they'll last a year, sometimes six months. You don't know. And when that expires, you've got to get more medicine for your child or you could lose them. 
the price has risen so much over the last six years, it's become unaffordable to many families to have this medication. And it's not due to the development costs of Mylan, the company that has the licensing. They've simply taken uh, an existing medication and because they had a monopoly on the mechanism for injection, they were able to charge what they wanted in the pharmacies. But thank goodness, awareness is, is rising now and people are starting to pay attention to what's been happening. Um, the estimated cost of production of the EpiPens are $10. The price is over 600 at the pharmacy. There's no way to justify this. It's a critical medication. When your child is exposed to an allergen, in my case, uh, peanuts, um, their face starts swelling, their mouth starts itching, they know they're starting to have a reaction. You only have a few minutes to get them help. They could die. I've heard of stories of children dying within 30 minutes because their mother couldn't make it in time to the hospital and they didn't have an EpiPen on them. Your child breaks out in hives, can't breathe. It's the scariest thing you can imagine. You feel very helpless. With this generation of, of children, uh, we need to face the fact that food can kill them. And it's a lot of parents that have to deal with this these days. Food allergies and other chronic conditions are on the rise at an alarming rate. Motherhood has changed. We're part nurses. We, we have to stick together to take care of our kids. <laughs> the greed is outrageous of these pharmaceutical companies for a medication that is absolutely not optional. They should not be able to hold families hostage. Their behavior is inexcusable, and that's why I support Prop 61. We have to do something to start limiting drug prices. Right. Hello, Los Angeles. <laughs> How you all doing out there? Hey, I got a quick question. Put the mic up there. Good. Am I good? Thank you. Quick question. I just want to know, is there anybody out there who is feeling the burn? OK. <laughs> Let's confirm we're feeling the burn. <laughs> um, my name is Steve Dunwoody. Uh, I'm the senior advisor for VoteVets.org here in the great state of California. We're an organization about a decade old, since 2006, has been leading the way on all the progressive issues of the day. We're the largest, most progressive organization of vets in the country, and we're proud of that. Lots of Iraq and Afghanistan war vets of which I'm going to rock with myself. So I'm here today with you, representing the voices of these veterans who are coming together to say, we are going to be voting yes on Proposition 61 on November 8th. That's right. Uh, Proposition 61, which we also call the California Drug Price Relief Act, will allow California state agencies that affect the health care of millions of Californians to negotiate their drug costs at the same rate as the United States Department of Veterans Affairs, also DBA. Now, why DBA? because DBA pays the lowest drug prices of any government agency. And as a vet myself, I'm glad to get the discount on drug prices. But truth is, a large majority of the 22 million vets in this country don't receive their medications even through the VA. So what that means essentially is that it leaves most of the vets in this country in the same boat as many of you out here are at the mercy of the pharmaceutical companies and the astronomical drug prices that they want to charge us. So I'm here as a vet today to say that it's time for this to end and it's time to say yes to Proposition 61. 
Now, I know a, a lot of us out here have been seeing all the drug company commercials on TV saying vote no on Proposition 61. <laughs> it's incredible, right? Oh yeah, we're definitely smarter than that. Um, you know, they're out there saying, you know, this is going to hurt vets. This is going to, you know, negatively impact and raise our drug prices. But that's a red herring and an empty threat. Because the truth is, is that, first of all, these drug companies, they're not providing low-cost drugs out of the benefit of their own heart. This isn't something that they came together and say, hey, how about we provide these low-cost drugs to the vets, the people who have served in uniform? Those discounts that are there are required by federal law, and they're not going anywhere. And our co-pays for the drugs that we pay are protected from price gouging by that very same federal law. So this is just a scare tactic by the big drug companies and many of the groups out there opposing Proposition 61 that are actually getting money from these very same companies to try and just scare us into voting no. And I think someone else already said it, and I'm saying it, we're not buying it. And the one more question for you, do you know who else isn't buying it? <laughs> That's right, Senator Bernie Sanders. So. Let me just say, it's truly an honor to welcome Senator Sanders back to Los Angeles to help support Proposition 61. And when it comes to an issue like this, Bernie definitely knows his stuff. As former chairman and now ranking member of the U.S. Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, he's making sure that the VA has our back and is making sure that it lives up to its obligations to take care of those who have worn the uniform. Bernie understands the importance of Proposition 61, not just for the benefits it provides us as veterans, but also for the millions of Californians this state, in this state that are sick and tired of being sick and tired of being taken advantage of by Big Pharma. So now is the time for us as Californians to lead the way for this country and take action against the massive drug price increases that are happening. For us as vets, it's why a lot of us put on the uniform so, our fa so we could not only defend our foreign threats, but also the domestic threats here at home. So our families could have a better life. And this helps our families and our communities that you know, supported us while we were serving overseas, who a lot of us wouldn't have been able to make it through without that support. So this is about the people that supported us. And I, there's, you know, I don't know about a lot of folks out there, but personally, I did not fight in a conflict abroad so that I could have to come home and watch people in my family, my community, have to fight for their very lives to be able to afford the drug prices that they need to save their lives with these EpiPens. I've got two nieces that need EpiPens, and when I think about my sister might not be able to afford the drugs she needs to be able to save their life if they get stung by a bee, I don't even want to think about that. That's why this proposition is so important. It has to pass. It will pass, and we're going to do it. We're going to do it by organizing, getting together, telling everyone about it. We're going to get, as we said in the military, suited and booted. We're going to get ready to say yes to Proposition 61. Thank you.